Let's learn about like and unlike terms. Before moving on, recall components of algebraic expressions. 4x minus 5y plus 2. This is an algebraic expression. And here we have three terms. 4x, 5y and 2. These are the three terms and having two operators. So in 4x, 4 is a coefficient and x is a variable. And in 5y, 5 is a coefficient and y is a variable and 2 without any variable. This is our constant term. So now these are the terms and now move on to the what are the like terms and what are unlike terms. So like terms are those terms which have same variables with the same exponents can be combined. And unlike terms are different variables or exponents cannot be combined. That means 3xy and minus 9xy. Here we have two terms and they are like how you saw in definition that uh, those terms which are having same variables are like terms. So here in 3xy we have xy as variables and in minus 9xy also we have xy as variables so 3 and 9 are different coefficients can be different signs can be different but if the variables are same so we can say both are like terms and what about unlike terms if we have different variables we can't look at the coefficient and signs they are same or they are different doesn't matter but for like and unlike terms we have to focus on the variables if variables are same they are like terms and if variables are different then they are unlike terms now as you can see here we have uh, 2x is the first term and we have second term is minus 1 x square and y so as you can see x and y and x and y both variables are same but what is the difference here you have x with one power and here you have x with two power so both are different because we must check the variables and exponents as well if both are same exactly then they are like if they are different by variable or by exponent so they are unlike terms here are some of the examples of like and unlike terms so like terms variable terms that differ only in their coefficient that means coefficients can be different signs can be different but variable must be same for the like terms as you can see here 7x first term and second term is 3x so here in both terms we have x as a variable that means they are like and in other hand here we have 7x as the first term and 3y as the second term in both terms we have different variables that means they are unlike terms and now come to the second example 5y and y what is the coefficient here that is 1 when you don't have any number before y that means here you have one coefficient so 5y and y both variables are same they are like terms and here 5y and y square here we have y with one power and here we have y with square. So both variables are different. So they are unlike terms. Now come to the third example that is 10xy and 2yx. Now here we have xy and here we have yx. Is there any difference? No, because x and y are in multiplication. When you have two numbers, for example, if you are going to multiply 2 with 3 or you are going to multiply 3 with 2, both gives answer same. So that's why x, y and y, x are same because they are in multiplication and that's why they are like terms. And here we have 2a and 3ab. Here we have only a as a variable and here we have two variables a and b. Both are different so they are unlike terms. And here 2 upon 3 a squared b 6 b a squared place can be changed but if a is squared 
here and a squared here and b with one power and b with one power that means there is no difference both are same variables and they are like terms and here we have x with squared and y with one power and here we have x with one and y with squared power so both are different and they are unlike terms and in the last we have 4p squared and p squared obviously they are same and they are like terms and here we have 4p and p squared they both are different by their exponent hope so now you understand clearly about like and unlike terms